We will demonstrate the skin swab procedure, first for adult form frogs, then a salamander, and then a tadpole. The technique is simple and minimally invasive because it samples multiple areas of the skin that may be infected with BD. It increases the likelihood that any potentially infected areas will be sampled. It is crucially important that pathogens are not transferred among field sites by the field crews. Thus, all equipment, such as dip nets, must be cleaned with a 4 to 6% solution of bleach. This is the product easily found in all grocery stores. Field boots, made of any material, must also be bleached. Because boots often carry mud, dried or wet, in the treads, they require physical scrubbing to remove all physical material. Wet clothing should be changed between field sites, but can be cleaned with normal household laundry methods. Your group will be sent a kit containing the necessary supplies. The kit includes a cooler for shipping specimens, ice packs, a data sheet, a permanent ink pen, powder-free nitrile disposable gloves, fine-tipped rayon swabs with a plastic handle, 2.0 ml microcentrifuge tubes. The assays we use are sensitive tests and can detect very small amounts of BD DNA. This is good for detecting animals that have very low level infections with BD, but increases the likelihood that samples from a non-BD infected animal can become contaminated with BD DNA from an infected animal, resulting in a false positive test result. Therefore, it is very important to take precautions to avoid sample cross-contamination. If collecting first and swabbing later, place each animal individually in a clean plastic bag, not provided, for holding. The swabbing procedure is as follows. Using a fine-tipped permanent marker, label a cryovial with the species name and individual animal ID number coded to your data sheet. Put on a new pair of disposable gloves for each animal that is collected slash swabbed. Must avoid cross-contamination of samples. Open the package containing the sterile swab. Make sure to avoid contact of the swab with work surfaces, hands, or substrate. Using a gentle sweeping motion, swab the ventral skin surfaces. Make sure to include the feet, front and hind, thighs and abdomen, especially the drink or pelvic patch. Each area should be swabbed five times. Because BD infection tends to be concentrated on ventral surfaces, it is not necessary to swab the dorsal skin. Release the animal at its site of capture. Allow the swab to air dry. Do not allow the swab tip to contact work surfaces, hands, or substrate. Break or cut the tip of the swab off into the previously labeled cryovial. Store air-dried swabs at or below 23 degrees centigrade, room temperature. Ship for analysis within six months. For shipment to Dr. Lanou's laboratory, Swabs should be sent by overnight or two-day courier service in cooler provided and with ice packs provided to guard against temperature extremes. Be sure to include data sheet protected by a plastic bag. Salamanders, especially small plethodontid species, can be very difficult to hold in the hand. Therefore, we recommend conducting the procedure on each individual in a clean new bag. The procedure for a salamander is very similar except that salamanders do not have a drink or pelvic patch. Therefore, swabbing is conducted on the feet, thigh, and abdomen. In tadpoles, BD infection is limited to the keratinized oral disc or mouth parts, and sampling should only be directed to this area. A gentle approach is encouraged and is sufficient to gather the data necessary. If an animal is covered with dirt or vegetation prior to skin swabbing, efforts should be made to manually rinse these extra materials. Animals may be gently rinsed with clean water prior to sampling, but vigorous washing should be avoided because of the potential to also rinse off BD-infected skin cells or organisms. If rinsing with water is used for cleaning, the water should not originate from the animal's enclosure or environment. In this video, we have shown the technique where the swabs are physically cut off into sample tubes using fine scissors. Some workers may prefer to simply break off the swabs. If instruments are used to cut the tip of the swab into cryovials, a freshly disinfected instrument must be used for each sample. To disinfect instruments for this purpose, 
dip in 70% ethanol. Commercially available vodka will also work, followed by flaming with a lighter or an alcohol lamp. Avoid using bleach solutions for disinfection because this can degrade BD DNA in swab samples, which could result in false negative tests. Samples should be sent to Dr. Lanou's lab using the contact information shown on your screen.